This is November and it's the time really for planting broad beans. Uh, I have had the broad beans as well as the, the peas growing in this patch to my right here and I'm moving it around in rotation so that in the year to come the beans and the peas are going to be in this patch which has been growing the onion family leeks and garlic and so forth. Uh, previously still some leeks left but in this corner of the patch I'm going to start off the new era for this patch for beans and peas and uh, the broad beans that I have here uh, super aqueduct uh, it says so outside from November to February so here we are in November no time like the present uh, the patch I want to grow uh, the beans in however at the moment is storing the lovely compost that I've dug out and in a small garden like this I find myself from time to time having to move the compost because it's been stored in a place that I want to use so I'm going to have to shift uh, a good lot of this before I can plant my beans Right, well I've dug out enough of the compost anyway to give myself essentially a quarter of this patch which is going to have the broad beans now shortly planted or sown at least in, in that patch there but before I do that uh, I have to just fork it over uh, just to, 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 to even it out, mixed in the compost I mean this might look like soil here but it's actually vegetable matter that's broken down so it's really a bit too rich to be a growing medium in itself but it will be very helpful of course when it's uh, just slightly mixed in with the soil so that the, the beans are growing in soil helped by compost rather than simply growing in the compost itself which would be a bit too rich. Right well we've mixed in the soil and the compost here so this is a good growing medium now uh, seed bed for, for the broad bean seeds. However before I actually plant them, I just want to get myself um, organised with the supports that the broad beans are going to need. Now we may have seen in the previous clips um, with the legumes in the patch from last year, or, the, or at least the year just gone, uh, that I had these wigwam affairs which come in essentially like tent poles. So they have to be put together and, and then they, they, um, they actually stand up like them. Like uh, a tent pole. Before I actually put them in though, so I don't want them rusting. I'm just going to do a little bit of um, care and maintenance, which is no harm uh, because uh, it'll just give me uh, extra years of use from these tent pole wigwam supports. Uh, a little bit of a little bit of oil there and. Um, then it helps them also to fit together nice and smoothly. Now, which one is that? Right up there. Right, that's the height of it. And then the spike that goes into the ground finishes it off. So that will be going in the centre of the circle of broad bean seeds. Like that. And these uh, stay ropes essentially will be hooked in to the pegs and I will um, mark where the beans are with these pegs when I sew them so that I'll know where to anchor my stay ropes to which then provide support for the broad beans. So we get planting the seeds now. Well the packet of broad beans here ready to be opened and let's sow the seeds for next year's broad bean harvest. Broad beans have quite a big seed. Um, biggest really I think of the of the the legumes. So um, because it's large it has to go down deeper. So generally uh, 5 cm 3 inches, basically the length of a finger uh, that has to go into the soil. The general rule of thumb so to speak is that um, a seed should be going down about three times its um, its depth so the tiny little seeds lettuce seeds and so forth you know, hardly cover them at all and you have them three times their depth um, but in this case it's the length of a finger really so it takes a trial so we'll get going I'll put in um, 
a couple of seeds at each at each station, and um, and then peg down the stays to where they they are they are planted, um, and we'll see how they come on. I'll have enough ready uh, and keep keep them back for the spring in case I don't get any joy for some reason here, and uh, then I can try planting them again in the spring. So I have a second go if necessary as a fallback. But meanwhile, we'll we'll, we'll plant what we have here and get on with that. Then I get the tent peg, because I don't want to forget where I put it, and just bury, bury those seeds which are in the vicinity of that tent peg, which will then be, uh, be important for putting in the support. Now we can, don't have to have it exactly there, we can stretch it so that the actual rope is taut but it'll come up there anyway and then it'll grow up grow up this, um, this stay rope. Well, we're just getting to the last um, couple of seeds now to be put in and that'll then complete the the wig ram which will look a bit bare for a good while until these seeds start to sprout but um, at least we'll know hopefully where they will they should be sprouting from because they'll be marked uh, by the stays and uh, the pegs uh, so if they don't come up by um, well in a month or so if you don't see something happening um, I'll think about replanting in the spring and hopefully have better luck but let's see how they get on before any of that happens